So Sydney being an agricultural business, we are involved in the growing, picking, processing, packaging and exporting of tea, coffee, macadamia and avocado. Sassini has been sustainable since its formation in 1952. The late Professor Gary Mathai, she said the environment is very unforgiving. And for us, the Sassini, we've taken in to conserve environment to the best of our ability. The world is uh, a place that is constantly evolving and one of those evolutions is the growth of our population. And what we've seen in the last, I would say, 50 years is a constant degradation of that environment, uh, especially in our generation where we have not taken as much of a good care of the environment as we should have. And so what's happening is you're getting depletion of forests, you're getting bad use of land, you're getting rises in temperature in excess of 1.2 degrees over certain small periods of time. Uh, and, and that global warming is changing the global weather, meaning rains don't come when they need to come. We're getting snow in areas where we never used to get snow. Uh, we're getting drought in areas where there was constant rain before. And so we have to think very cleverly about how to reverse these negative effects to go back to an equilibrium where what the environment gives us and what we take from it uh, is balanced. What has prompted sustainability is because, as the term goes, sustainability means going into prosperity. The strength of a company, number one, starts with the employees. Because when the employees are strong, they are able to take care of the clients. And when the clients are happy, then the company can only go to bigger heights. So I would look at it as a transformational kind of change in Sassini, where we've taken in and accepted that sustainability is the main pillar. So out of the 17 goals, um, it's, it's very difficult to be effective in all of them. So what most good corporates do is choose where they feel they can have the greatest impact. So we chose nine goals and um, they were not difficult to choose because Sassini being an agricultural business has been sustainable since its formation in 1952. In agriculture, we make profit from tilling land, turning that crop into produce that we then sell to turn into profit. If you don't take care of that land, there's no way you can be a 70-year-old business without sustainability. So we've been doing these sustainable things. Uh, the only difference now is that we're being deliberate about it. We are choosing those goals deliberately. We are investing in those goals deliberately. And a part of our investment is in our operations and the way we drive our business. On industry innovation, Kipkebe has ventured into new frontiers. One is on drone fertilizer application. We have since moved from manual application to drone. So we are using the drone to do our NPK fertilizers to our tea farms. Secondly, our estates have since moved from hand plucking to mechanized plucking. We are now using the Valiant tractor machine to pluck our estates and also the two-man machine to pluck our estates. This has improved our productivity of our tea as we are able to get better quality and better prices in the market. When I joined the coffee business 30 plus years ago, it was a male-dominated business. But today, if you come to Sassini Estate today, out of 11 estate managers, four of them are ladies, and they are doing perfectly well. When I got here in 2019, less than 10% of the leadership team was female. And that struck me as odd because um, I don't see the country split gender-wise almost 50-50. I don't see why organizations shouldn't have at least a 50-50 split in its employment base. And so we set out then, when we were rolling out the current goals, uh, to have at least 40% of our leadership team being female. And we said, that's not enough. Let's have 40% of the organization being female. Today, three and a half years 
after we set that goal, 39% of our leadership is female and 31% of our whole organization is, is female. Here in Kibkebe, we are giving equal opportunities to women and increasing their roles in decision making. For example, at the factory level, we have given an opportunity to more women working at production management levels and at the sorting area is also taken up by the women. At Sassim Nuts, we are very passionate about gender. Uh, the factory has about 400 casual employees and out of 400, 350 are ladies who we allow even to come with their children. We provide daycare services for their children so that these ladies are able to work during the day without interruption. We have various programs that are tailored in making sure that uh, our management are better prepared to handle the future. One is that we hold the management training program whereby we get fresh graduates from the university and they come and undergo two-year training uh, moving through all the departments that we have here that is the field, factory, engineering and administration and at the end of the two years those who do very well and their vacancies they are absorbed. At Sassini, we are given opportunity to grow through leadership trainings. I joined Sassini as a Greenleaf Purchasing Clerk at the Outgrowers Department. Uh, right now I'm a manager in charge of an estate. Then uh, looking at the operation areas in the field, that is the Valiant, which takes about 81% of our harvesting. Almost 40% are actually women driving those tractors. Initially we used to only go for men, but uh, right now we have also women driving the Valiant tractors that do the harvesting. In the supplier of requalification, we have a special category where we give a chance to women to do business with us. And uh, we had an opportunity recently where we were able to pre-qualify one of the women in the male-dominated industries to transport a tea from Kipkebe to Mombasa, which is a plus for us because we will be achieving our target of 30% expenditure on the procurement expenses under the women-owned business. As a woman, I feel Sassini gives a lot of support economically and even financially. They have really supported me and they have also, having worked with them and seeing what I can do, they have given me that confidence to be able to go to an extra mile and even to approach bigger companies. On affordable and clean energy, this is uh, an SDG that we've taken very seriously. Uh, one is we actually appreciate the cost of drawing power, for example, from the national grid. The cost is quite high. I can confidently say that from our department, we are going to value addition. Coffee, when we milk coffee, we generate husks. Those husks, what we are doing, we are not wasting them away. Those husks, we bliket them, and we do the blickets that we use in firing boilers. We are not only using them as a sini, but we are also selling this as a source of income, but also helping the country to cut down on the power we pull from the national grid. For macadamia, the husks that we crack 
the nuts we buy, we crack and get the kernels and we get the husks. All those husks are the ones we use back to fire the boilers. So we cut down almost 40% of our energy requirement in macadamia factory by reusing the byproducts that we get. Uh, we've seen, uh, because of human activity, uh, climate change has become a very critical aspect of the global economy. That climate change uh, is in the form of increasing temperatures uh, towards you hear people talk about global warming. And so at Sassini we made a call a few years ago to investigate uh, putting together a solar plant that can be used to power some of our factories. We did the first one and launched it a few months ago, which is our 1.5 megawatt uh, solar generation station in our tea business. Uh, that replaces 30% of our usage of non-renewable sources of energy, something we're very proud of. We want to pilot that, run it for a few years, and then see whether we can expand that into our coffee business, our macadamia business, and our avocado business as well. On quality education, the company has provided four primary schools and one secondary school. And we are resourcing these schools with water for the children. We are also providing electricity for the children to study even in the evenings. The company is also keen in resourcing the secondary schools, laboratories and library. We are very keen on the sciences, the physics, chemistry and biology because we are looking at a future where we want to absorb these children back to the factory to be our workers. I would like to be an engineer in the future and I like to pursue the course and the school actually will help me to pursue the course and actually teachers will help me and support me. The laboratory here is good. Before the school was built, the, school, the students used to walk more far away, more than 10 kilometers away. Sassini is one of the top facilitators of education in terms of their staff, both academic and, uh, and professional. Personally, I'm a beneficiary. I came to Sassini when I only earned a master's degree, but when I talked to the management about my intention of going back to school, they were very supportive. My work schedule was adjusted for me to attend classes on Saturdays. I was given time through my, my leave days to do my research work, and it took me four years to complete my PhD in entrepreneurship. And my completion and my graduation was a success and it was celebrated big time in Sassin. With the support of our group managing director, Mr. Martin Ocheng, he initiated a group with six ladies. I was among the beneficiaries where we were tasked with a nutritionist so that we can practice good, healthy habits. Today, we were very happy to come and uh, share with the school fraternity our sustainability goal number three, which is good health and well-being. We came in uh, to say thank you for the school allowing us to use its facilities for our well-being activities. We shared a meal with the pupils and with the entire school fraternity just to say a big thank you. We have uh, medical centers uh, within uh, some of our business uh, divisions. We also have uh, trained occupational safety committees in every uh, uh, company site or company division. By that I mean there are first aiders, there are, uh, there are fire brigade people and so on. Employees who are trained and refreshed annually just to ensure they're able to respond to various uh, emergencies should they arise. 
also we have uh, the medical schemes for our employees should they like uh, require further attention that is beyond uh, what our medical facilities can offer they can always utilize their cover <music> We always ensure that uh, the work environment for the employees is safe and conducive for them. When I, t when I mention that, I mean employees working in, s in factories, in the fields, anybody who is in touch of chemicals or, or um, uh, machinery, they are properly trained and uh, are always in the right uh, PPEs to ensure that they are safe. So senior avocado subscribe to the welfare of our workers where we have to make sure that everybody is properly uh, protected depending on where they are working and we also give a last period for the people working on the floor during 10 10 a.m break and we also give them one hour of a lunch hour just to rest because their work entails them to stand the whole day Our workers need to live in decent places by providing two bedrooms for one family. And those two bedrooms must be able to have a kitchen. Uh, the chimney should be able to extract the smoke so that we are reduce the incidences of uh, respiratory diseases. And uh, the children are able to live in their own bedroom. The reason why we are improving the housing structures of our workers is to give them a decent housing and ensure that they are comfortable working for us because once you make the worker comfortable you are also able to achieve the productivity that the company desires. Nilikuta hapa sikuwa na kitu lakini nimenisaidia nimepata pesa watoto wangu wanaendelea kusoma. Kijana yangu mkubwa amemalisha shule juu ya hii pesa ya kebikebe. Msichana ku form 2. Hata mahali penye tunakaa ni mahali mzuri sana. Mimi niko na nyumba kubwa, niko na bedroom, na mahali penye watoto wanalala, na mahali penye natengenezea chakula. Niko na maji kwa nyumba na ni maji safi. Tuko na masamba ya kupanda mboga. Hiyo samba iko na mboga kila tabauti. Mahali mboga yenye unataka. Hata hapa kwa samba ukikuta unapata chakula iko. Maji iko, uchi iko na kiteli tuko na kiteli. Tunabewa kila kitu. I want to recall the late Professor Wangari Mathai. She said the environment is very unforgiving. If you touch environment the long way, it will come back bouncing on you and it will bounce to you in a very painful way. Today we are now talking of global warming. We are talking of that catastrophe. We are talking of that one. Only because as a nation, as a world, we did not adhere to what the environment wanted. And for us as a city, I can proudly say today, all our estates, they are all under shade. We are giving life to wildlife, we are giving life to small animals, we are giving life to everything else. And we understand the kind of symbiotic relationship that birds would do, that the bees would do, that that other insect would do into our farming process. And that's why we've taken in to conserve environment to the best of our ability. As a corporate social responsibility, Sosini has various projects we are currently doing. The first is on water projects. We, together in partnership with Tailors of Harrogate, have budgeted to do six boreholes for the next six years. So the first borehole is complete. That was done in the last financial year. And we are very proud to provide drinking water or clean water to the local communities. This is just to commission the water and we hope that this is the first bucket of many that will go into the community. Enjoy the water, thank you. Tulikuwa tunabeba na lita tano kutoka mtoni. Kwa ansia leo tunabeba na lita ishirini. Kwa maana mmekucha karibu na sisi. Na mimi na sukuru kwa sababu Sasini imetuletea machi leo tunachotea karibu. Tunakuwa tunachota machi mbali na tunapanda mulima. Hatukua tunaoa. 
ngombe asina maji leo tunashukuru tunachotea karibu ninachota lita 20 sasa na furai naenda kwangu na maji I think at the end of the day we want a better world for everybody and uh, if you're able to create happiness to every stakeholder that you interact with, I think there will be less problem in the society. Sustainability is the only way to ensure that we have a future that is protected for our children and our great-grandchildren. PLC, deeply rooted in agriculture.